What's going on, Ultra Boy Jungle Nine Seven Two back here with Misunderstood. How you doing? Now I, I want to you know be the first person to apologize for all the fucking random encounters and the irateness. I actually decided to edit all that out though because that was way too frequent, even for a Final Fantasy game. I'll tell you this right now though, you know, there's there's if there's one thing that that really aggravates me about you know Final Fantasy games is the random encounter percentage being so high in some of the games. But it's forgivable because I love Final Fantasy VI. Just how much I like uh, Final Fantasy X as well. And we are going through uh, South Figaro Castle. But like I said, you know, in some cramped spaces like that, though, especially something that's very easy to get past, it shouldn't take that long for you to go uh, go through that, you know, with that many random encounters. Because I'll tell you one thing, though. Sometimes, you know, random encounters, you know, are good. Mm -hmm. But sometimes uh, too many random encounters can be very, very, very uh, frustrating. I'll tell you right now, though, that was just getting on my nerves. Um, I had the same problem, as I said in the last episode, with uh, Final Fantasy X. Yeah. When I was playing through Final Fantasy X, there was like a series of random in encounters, right? Yeah. And I fleed the majority of them. Yeah, I believe it. And I'll be openly honest, so I fleed the majority of the ones from the last episode, too, though. But in this case, so you know, we actually kind of need to grind just a little bit, though, because... Going through this uh, little tunnel right here uh, will be uh, a little bit. Yeah, let me see if there's anything else that's changed. Because we're going to South Figaro, uh, from South Figaro to Narsh at this point, so there's going to be some changes, you know, from uh, from where we're at, though. Spe uh, specifically, you know, stronger monsters. And ironically, though, you know, uh, Lock in this case though still remains uh, the weakest out of all of them, and Celis is uh, actually uh, at level 14 right now. Um, uh, you know all that fleeing and spiking Final Fantasy X? Yeah. That, that actually came back to bite me in the ass, because when I reached, when I reached a certain level, I want to say it was the Mothalanian Temple, where I had to fight Seymour. Yeah. I actually got my ass kicked by Seymour plenty of times. So I had to go back and battle, and battle Seymour. Some of the enemies, some of the enemies in uh, Final Fantasy X were kind of hard to beat. Yeah, definitely. Not only were they hard to beat though, but you know when you encounter them too frequently though, it's just, like especially whenever they're about as tough as their own bo uh, boss fights as well, they can be very, very, very um, just time consuming at times. It re they really can. Right, they're, they're super time consuming. Yes. Nothing worse than you know finding somebody finding something so time consuming too. But like I was saying, though, if you lower the encounter rate by 15%, though, I think, you know, especially even for classic Final Fantasies, they become a lot more fun to be played. Oh, a Thunder Rod, too. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's definitely uh, something you need to hold on to. But yeah, if you uh, lower the encounter rate at least by 15%, though, man, you know, the, the the game, you know, the games itself, though, would be a lot more fun. See, that's, that's way, way too common. Let me uh, heal Celis' poison real quick. I know the shortest, uh, the shortest I've gone with, uh, without a random encounter was like a millisecond, believe it or not. Let's see how far we can go without it. What is that noise? Well, let's heal up real quick. That's 14 seconds. Yes, 14 seconds. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me whisper, whispering at the count. That was a total of 14 seconds right there. Now, who is that in the water? Okay, that was 14 seconds, right? Mm -hmm. But unfortunately for us, though, it's going to be a lot shorter at this point. Something's coming out of the wall. 
tunnel armor. Woo! I'll draw its magic attack. It won't hurt us. Come again? I can simply absorb the attack with my runic blade. Sure you'll be okay? Just you watch. Alrighty, here we go. Let's attack first, but we're gonna use runic first. Now you can't draw its physical attacks. However, when it comes to the magic, you're good. Ooh, and an air lancet too. Fucking A. Okay. That was not cool. Yeah. Hang on, let's uh See I said it okay, I've already got an air lancet equipped. Let's heal up real quick. Oh really? Keep runicking. This is going to be a little tedious, but it has yet to hit us with any kind of magic attack. It seems to be really, really good at countering, too. Oh! Okay. Now I remember, you have to keep, um, you've got to keep using Runic over and over again. You know, you said it was gonna, she was going to draw us magic, though, but this thing does not use magic very much, apparently. Okay. Oh, that's not good. That's yeah, not that's good. not very good at all. Potion, 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 potion. Don't fuck up, Celis. Hey! Bless you. Hey! Really? Oh, you missed. But this jackass gets attacked twice. I don't believe in that. That's offensive. Yeah, the tunnel armor is a, is a bit of a piece of shit. Oh, would you look at that. Would you look at that. Story of my life, everybody. Damn it. Alright, everybody. We're going to do this again, because apparently um, the tunnel armor does not like to use magic. Not only does it not, not only does the tunnel armor not like to use magic, but in that last battle, it literally rendered Celis's uh, runic ability destitute. I don't even know. Let's just skip forward. Let's see. Alrighty. Blah 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 Bam. For some reason, in the previous battle, as you may have seen, depending on how this episode you know gets produced, um, the tunnel armor did not use any magic whatsoever. It just used none of the physical attacks. Now, I have never played uh, Final Fantasy and then have it do that before. It was really weird. Now, it did use uh, its uh, physical attacks and its magical attacks sparingly, right? but it focused like 90% physical like 10% magic at that point. And it really did, it was a really poor example of, you know, how um, her runic ability, uh, Celis' runic ability should be used. Oh! And the fight, you know, should have ended. Matter of fact, the fight should have ended just like that, though. So we're not really going to, you know, bother too much. We're not going to bother too much of it, though. We're done with this, uh, we're done with all this, so let's get the hell out of here. And we're Woo! in the clear. The three have reached Narsh, and a decisive battle is about to take place. That's very unsettling. A very decisive battle. I understand all of it, except how can we encourage bloodshed? We be encouraging bloodshed. Never said that. Something like it. God, don't, don't you hate it when people do that? People misread everything, though. They're just... 
They they hear what they want to hear sometimes. It's really sad. People twi- like people nowadays they twist words. That and then you got you know the the lower primates out there who don't know what these certain things mean. They don't bother to even ask you know about like what it means. Mm-hmm. Global destruction. The War of the Magi. The mythical battle that set mankind back a thousand years. Can this really be happening? People will never learn. You know what? Sad, sad enough. You know, planet humans in general really don't learn very well. Brother, Saban, you're all right. And who's with you? I'm Cyan, retainer of, to the Lord of Dama. People of Dama were wiped out by the Empire. Kafka poisoned everyone. Barbaric. That was only because Dama was collaborating with the Returners. If we make that mistake. Sad but true. Fortunately, anybody. That's nonsense. Look who shows up. Lock and sell us. The Empire is poised to attack Narsh right now. Where did you hear that? Celis, here was one of the Empire's generals. Urgh, I knew she seemed familiar. Sir Gal, out of my way! Uh oh! That poor child! Don't frighten him, come on. That's General Celis. She touched a Miranda. She's an Imperial spy, now stand aside. She's joined the Returners. She's fighting with us now. What? I promise I'd protect her. I will not back out of my word. Locke, are you still thinking about that? <clears throat> I was also an Imperial soldier. What? Oh, Jesus, it's reaction. Yep. The Empire is evil, but not all of its citizens are. Oh, this is... Emergency! The Empire cometh! Oh, boy. That, this is, um... It's a very uneasy alliance with some people. I don't care what you do here. Just get me to that Esper. Lord Kefka! There's civilians here! Exterminate everyone! Idiot. Read my lips. Dispose of any who oppose us. March. Oof. Looks like we've got something big on our hands, too. We really have no choice. Let's make ready for war. Time for us to fight back. Is it? Do you find it odd that I... that? Kafka is actually one of, is actually my top favorite villain in the series. Yeah, he's just a terrible heel. Terrib- he's, he's an asshole, man. He's a terrible human being. Locke has a complicated past. You, I wouldn't go in any thinking about anything. I'm a soldier, not some love starved twit. But. Artificially infused, yes, and raised as a Magitech knight. Mm. Mm? What's that supposed to mean? Well, she she really doesn't know very much about humans. Don't think for a moment I trust you. Fine, use your own eyes, then decide. It's the only thing you can do. It's time to prepare for war, and Kefka, I'll tell you right now, has. Pretty much everything in the kitchen sink coming this way. So, in the next episode, we do battle for Narsh. Kafka's a piece of shit. Yes, he is. Without the shadow of a doubt. So, in the next episode, we battle for Narsh's liberation. Much love, and I'll see you on the battlefield.